Hey guys! <laughs> We're in a set, on a set, in the Mr. Kate studio that because- That we built. Yeah, we're upping our game here. Now we have a room where we can experiment and it's all about experimenting with design and decorating for you guys. We are going to be doing three ways DIY headboards. You guys love the bedroom oriented videos because it's a hard place for people to decorate. Put yourself first. Your bedroom is very important. And we have an amazing sponsor today which makes a lot of sense for headboards because it's a mattress company. Lisa Sapira Mattress. Sapira. So we are bringing that puppy out in a little bit so we'll show you that. We got a good deal for that too. Stick around. We'll tell you about it in a little bit. <laughs> I'm really excited because it's a very luxurious mattress. It's a combo of springs and memory foam and and I might just need to take a nap in between some of these because we are going to be doing some heavy lifting DIYing, which is exactly why Joey is here today to help me out. I encourage you guys if you're doing large scale projects to phone a friend. Hello? Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. So right we're, we get to show you guys a bunch of different styles because of course all of you creative weirdos out there have your own unique perspectives. So we're going to be doing three very different headboard styles and of course styling around them. Let's do it. <laughs> Subscribe guys! Yeah. What are we? Are you going to get the plywood? Okay. I have the worst moonwalk ever. I'm Mr. Kate. I'm here. I'll take a look at your place. I'll stop by for a while and help you find your stuff. We'll walk and we'll paint Mr. Kate. Oh, I'm Mr. Kate. Okay, so for this first headboard, we are going to do a plywood headboard. Now this is for those of you that love the more minimalist, industrial, loft vibe. Basically the cheapest headboard you can make. Yeah, because we're going to use one piece of plywood. Eight by four, right? Four by eight. Eight by four. Plus we got an extra piece to make the shelves. Rather than bringing in additional side tables, we're making the headboard longer than the actual bed width. It's gonna look very raw. How wide do you want the shelves? Like I mean, they shouldn't be too wide. It's just where you put like a glass of water, book. See you later. Uh, Call if you need me, but I'm gonna be compiling all the styling supplies. All right, so I got my circular saw, and then I have a piece of tile, and I'm just using it as my straight edge. Under my cut, I'm gonna use some tape. Just keep it from splintering too much. Safety goggles on, and here we go. I got my shelf piece three quarters of an inch. You just wanna make sure it's thick enough because we're gonna drive some screws into here to keep it mounted. I'm gonna make the shelves 14 inches each, which if I had a pencil, it would help. Thank you. All right, so you could use your circular saw for this, but I'm gonna use this saw because it's gonna give me a little better of a cut. If you don't have any saws or any tools like this, the hardware store will totally cut things for you. So you can just go in with your measurements. But I have the tools, so let's cut. All right, so I got all my shelves cut. Now it's time to mount them to the plywood. The way we're gonna mount this is using these bad boys, which are called, one second, structural wood screws. I've got my wood clamps just to keep it straight up for me while I drill. Six inch drill bit. In order to mount these to the wood, I'm gonna have to screw in from the back. So I need to know where my holes were that I drilled. I'm just taking a piece of paper. I'm just gonna mark where they are. So now I have my map, and that's what I'm gonna use to drill into the other piece of wood. All right, so are you which, trying to decide what side? I mean, this side has like some marks on it. When you're going for the industrial vibes, you're embracing the rawness of things. Right? Yeah, is this gonna I be? I think it's gonna be. I think is it's gonna. gonna <laughs> <laughs> yeah, match on both sides and another one kind of like about here. All right, so I got my holes marked. Okay. Treasure map. Are those all coming through? Yep, and they're lined up into the wood. Woo! Look, 
you guys, we have our three ledges, and then what's so great is you just prop this big piece of wood on the floor. You don't need to mount it to the wall. The box spring and the mattress will hold it. We've chosen to put the box spring directly on the floor to give it that platform bed, low to the ground look. Wait, that is the mattress? Yeah. <gasps> Oh, it sounds like Roxanne when she kisses at Winston. Let's see! Oh, oh take a breath! That's wow, crazy. that was so fast. Like it used to cost thousands of dollars. The quality of this mattress is like equivalent to like a $10,000 mattress. Which is crazy that there's $10,000 mattresses, by the way, anyways. Well, that's really soft. I'm gonna be the first to try it out! Here, put it on. I'm not kidding Wait. you right now. This is really, really Can you get up? Oh, oh wow. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're done. Great, that's the room. Perfect, minimalist. We don't need sheets. Do you need a hand? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Wow, looks so good. With the styling, I went really simple. We've got a beautiful linen duvet cover, matching pillows. I love these like cage lamps. It's an old camera and an old suitcase. Keeping it really minimal. This is our minimalist, modern, industrial. Ta-da. Minimal high five. Minimal high five. So enjoy this room. But first, let's cue the reveal. All right. All right. Guys, I'm so excited for this next one. We're calling it the upholstered nail head mermaid scalloped headboard. Okay, that's a long name, there but we're is. working on it. We're using the same piece of plywood and I love the look of an upholstered headboard. You guys saw us do that tufted bench video, which you can also do that DIY as a headboard. So that's a really beautiful option if you want like a rectangular bed. Today we're gonna do a scalloped shape, shell shape. Clam shell. So mark a uh, foot and a half in. 12.5. No. <laughs> Wait, don't what? Take... Where were you going? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was following your original line. I told you you needed to... So this is a plate, I'm sure you guys are familiar. And this is gonna be our template for our circle shape that's gonna be our scallop shape. Here we go, here we go. Smart. We're gonna try to get like the right arc sketched out first and then we can put our, our scallop. There's our scallop pattern, so now we have to cut it out. We have our jigsaws. All things DIY and supplies. This is not a, a saw to use if you want a straight line. And you can rent these again if you don't have one. trim it. So I'm just resting the scissor against the wood and just kind of cutting around my scallop shapes. All right, so there is our scallop foam piece, essentially the same shape. It's just gonna make our lives easier if this foam is anchored to the wood. So I'm using a little hot glue to just make sure that is the case. Foam is really what pads it initially, and then this batting, since it's flexible, is the one we go around to the back. Just smooth the edges. Probably should do two layers of this. Yep. Let's flip her over then. All right, so you can cut the slit to help you sort of loop around these scallops or you can just pull it really tight into that crease. We're gonna hang this like a big picture. All right, 
right, here is our fabric. Look at this beautiful kind of minty silk satin. Because this is just silky fabric, this is just like a cotton muslin underneath it. Look, our platter of spiky things. So these are just brass dome nail heads. They're very simple. Like, look how pretty that looks with the mint. Okay, so we're getting our first nail head down in the center. So this is a rubber mallet, so it's not gonna damage the head of the nail head. Boom! See, that's the pearl. <gasps> that's the pearl in the oyster shell! Now we're gonna go out from it in either direction. So just ensure that you're using the excess of your fabric to flow away and make sure that it's nice and taut. Yay! Hey. Teamwork! This looks so magical, you guys. So I'm starting with the center one and just kind of pulling the excess. Oh, glad that didn't go into your finger. Oh, that feels secure. <gasps> Let's get to bed. <gasps> bed, the luxurious mattress. Moving it in, is it straight? That's pretty light. <laughs> wow, I could sleep through that. <laughs> okay, get up, we have a bed to make. <laughs> Wow. How cute is this? We kind of went from like little girl's room to like a slightly more elevated. It's like a deconstructed under the sea nautical theme. Good job. Good job. So we have the pale pink, mm -hmm. these things that sort of lend the idea of water. water. And I love the copper accent. Of course, this is our DIY copper ladder. And this is also our DIY twinkle lights. Can we redecorate our bedroom like this? No. What's next? It's cute. What's next? Yeah. Leave it forever. No, we got one more to go. So I am obsessed with everything we've done so far. Such different rooms. So now we have these vintage frames. This one we got on the side of the road, this giant one. Obviously they have no glass in them, but that is good because we are going to use these to create. Oh, Kate. Oh, come on, that's come on. Cute. it's gonna that's be cute. exciting. Okay. Well, so they don't know what we're doing yet. We're gonna make bellies on the wall. What? Yeah, like actually putting pillows on the wall as a headboard is like mm. a cool idea. Putting fabric onto the wall, stuffing it. So they're gonna just so be it's like, like a little mound. Little bellies come And then come frame out. it. That's fine. So we're not actually putting the belly in the frame. We're putting the belly on the wall and then just putting the frame on top of the belly. I love yeah. it. We're gonna be done with this in 10 minutes. Yep. All right, guys, these are the beautiful fabrics that we've chosen for this DIY. This one, since we have these really ornate frames, we're kind of going a little bit more eclectic, but elegant. Before I cut the fabric, I wanna make sure that I'm cutting enough excess so that I can stuff it when it's on the wall. Using like this pillow is really helping me be able to see where I should cut it. I've cut this piece of fabric basically to size. It has a little bit of a butt. Okay. okay we've trimmed the excess fabric around and now we're gonna attempt Go to hang under it. Under Diego's belly. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe the weirdest DIY ever. Slash best. Slash cutest slash mushiest. These smaller ones, we can use a technique that I think will probably be easier where we staple up three sides and then stuff it with loose stuffing. The trick here obviously is leaving some slack so you have room to stuff. All right, so you're leaving the pink sheets on. 
on. Yeah, let's leave these pink sheets on because it's very in right now. It pays really well with these muted tones. So this is a beautiful duvet cover. It's obviously floral, but it's really tiny flowers, which has that like very vintage look to it. How chic! Oh my gosh. Obviously, we have this very vintage inspired print going on on the bed. We don't need throw pillows. We have our throw blanket. pillows. Blanket, exactly. We have our throw pillows on the wall. Obviously, there's more clean lines going on with these side tables. This one has a little marble top. Has that like found object flea market vibe. This lamp, which has more mid-century look to it, right? It's a little bit cleaner. Yay! Head for three ways! Rah! I love them all. Okay, thank you, Joey, for being amazing. Of course, we wanna hear from you in the comments. What do you want us to tackle next in our empty we set? We have this palette. And subscribe, guys, and hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much, Lisa Mattress, for sponsoring this Yes! Video. Oh my gosh, if you guys are in the market for a very comfy, luxurious mattress, make sure you check it out and use our code. You're gonna have an awesome night's sleep. <laughs> okay, well, they get weird because you get weird. You almost poked my eyes out. Bye guys, love you. Oh, you're taking your shoes off. Oh, wow, he's really committing. Fine, I'm committing, you guys. Oh, I just, I'm still thinking about them, I'm reflecting. Okay, Kate, can you get the light? Okay. And can we get the stage door light? <laughs> Whoa, that one turned on. <laughs> Last light! <laughs>